Hey everybody, Franco here with you again today from Lucy's Goalkeeping Academy in St. Louis. Hope uh, this video finds you doing well, staying healthy and motivated. Here with you today to bring you the next installment of our partnered at home goalkeeper training session. Today's video is a focus on different techniques in saving the ball as well as a little bit of goalkeeper fitness and goalkeeper footwork. Uh, all you'll need to complete this video is one server and a couple of soccer balls. You can have a mom, a dad, a sibling be your server. Uh, the service is relatively simple and we'll explain all the different goalkeeping movements as well as all the different services. Uh, make sure that you guys have about 10 or 12 feet of space to do this drill. There will be a little bit of diving so we encourage you to do this one outside or in a softer environment for, uh, for diving. Uh, but other than that, everything you need, again, one server, one soccer ball. The way the video works is you guys are going to go ahead and play the video, set the camera somewhere where you can see it, and then you don't have to touch it or do anything. We're going to go through uh, the different movements. Each exercise is going to take about 30 seconds to a minute long, and you just work alongside us. We'll take 30 second breaks or so in between. We'll, we will explain the next drill and give you a chance to catch your breath. All right, without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. What you're going to need is three cones or three pillows, three water bottles, something that you can move around uh, and over uh, for doing these footwork drills, okay? The first drill we've got, we're going to have Coach Edwin doing the working. Coach McKenzie is going to be doing the serving for this particular drill. It's going to be lateral high knees, saving a chest pass on each outside of the cone. So let's just walk through it a little bit, guys. Go ahead, lateral high knees. Hands come up, save the chest pass, lateral high knees immediately back the other direction, save the chest pass on this side, working in and out through for about 30 seconds, okay? McKenzie's going to be serving him a chest pass on that side when Eddie finds himself there, and a chest pass on this side when he finds himself here, okay? So continuous work for the full 30 seconds, okay? Ready? Let's go. Boom. Chest pass. Perfect. And then tiny right back through. Boom. Boom. Good. Notice how his eyes are up. Looking at the ball, catching it in that triangle technique each time as that ball is coming in above his chest. Okay? If you step on a cone or you trip, something like that, no problem, fix it and then get right back into it. This is something of a fitness and warm up drill. All right? Getting the hands loose, we're getting the feet loose, ready to rock and roll. All right? Three more. Three, two, one, and time. Perfect. Catch your breath. I'll have these guys rotating each exercise just to keep them fresh. But for you at home, go ahead and do that drill. Catch your breath during this time that I'm talking, and then we'll start the next drill. Okay? The next piece of this is going to be slalom footwork done through the cones. Okay? So slalom, let's just walk through one of them, Coach. He's going to be going backward first, then forward, and then backward so that he finds himself coming forward as he makes the save on the outside of the cone there. He'll then repeat it back in the direction, going backward first, forward around the middle cone, and then backward around the third cone so that he's coming forward at the end to save the volley here. All right, let's get it rolling, guys. And go. Good. Nice, quick little steps. Eyes come up, make sure he's ready to make the save. At home, you can do this with a chest pass or a volley. Totally up to you. We did chest passes on the last exercise. We're doing volleys on this one. Totally up to you how you want to do it, though. Good work. That's all right. Notice he messed up the cone. No big deal. Just going to keep going through it. Pretend the cone is there. Good work. Last two reps. Last two reps. Well done. We're almost there, guys. Get it done. Last rep. And time. Good. Catch your breath. Well done, guys. Perfect. So, again, each drill done between 30 seconds and a minute long. A little bit of fitness, a little bit of warm-up on those first couple. Okay, the next piece we're going into, we're getting a little bit of diving done. So if you guys uh, haven't yet, make sure that you guys did your vitamin warm-ups, all right? Get our uh, hip and armpits ready to be landed on a couple times, but we're going to go right into some collapsing dives. These guys have already done their vitamin warm-ups. So we're going to go right into lateral high knee footwork like we did last time, except the service, instead of being a chest pass, is now going to be a collapsing dive back this direction. So let's go ahead and walk through it. Go ahead. So lateral high knees, collapse and dive this way. He's going to return the ball back to the server, catch his breath, and now he's going to come back to where he started, okay? So we're only doing the dive to our left this time. Got it? We're not working on both sides simultaneously. All right, boys, ready? Go! 
Okay, good. Notice how he's diving diagonally forward. He's not landing on the cones. He's keeping that good triangle shape with his hands, landing on his hip and his armpit each time. Okay, good stuff. Good work, good work, good work. Excellent, good. Notice how the service is that underhand serve done in an upward trajectory, right? It's not a rainbow serve. Good. Two more reps, guys. Two more reps. Excellent. Notice how he's catching his breath when he gets back to the beginning. He's not just running through this at 100 miles an hour. He's taking that little break. Boom. Then he can do the footwork quickly and then make the save. Excellent. Good work. Well done, guys. Switch it up. We're going to now go to the other side. Okay? So the same drill. We're just going to start on the other side of the cones. Work to our left through. Then the collapsing dive done to our right. Okay, so again, we'll take just that little 30 second breather in between. Again, make sure that as we're doing the reps, when we get back to the beginning, catch your breath there for a second, and then we can go through the cones with explosion, with speed, right? Goalkeeping is all about moments of rest, followed by moments of intense activity. It's not a continuous position of play, right? We don't have to be doing 12 dives in a row, followed by footwork. It's explosive, followed by calm. So make sure we're training that same way. Okay, ready boys? Let's go. Good. Lateral high knees and then that collapsing dive. Again, all the services serve in toward the middle of the three cones. We're not making them dive all the way out this way. Keep things nice and sharp and short. All the diving is done back toward the middle of where the three cones are. Good. Excellent. Good. Get to the beginning, catch his breath for a moment, and then go back to the explosion into the drill. Excellent. Good. Take that little diagonal step into the dive to get his body going in that same trajectory. Good. Good work. Come on. Three more, guys. Three more. Three more. You can do it. Come on. Well done, guys. Almost there. Good work. Good work. Good work. Good work. And time. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. Very, very good. So we're going to keep the cones in this same setup. We're now going to go into slalom footwork. Slalom. So that same slalom footwork that we saw the coaches doing before, where they're going, um, going backward around the first cone, forward around the second cone, backward around that third cone, and then we're coming forward and getting set to make that save. It's important we go through the footwork in that exact order each time because that way we're always coming forward as we're getting ready to make that last save. Okay? So make sure that you're going backward around that first cone in the series each time. Okay? Very, very important. So, now we're going to repeat the same collapse diving, except with slalom footwork. Let's walk through one of them. Go ahead. He's going to go backward first, forward, now he's coming uh, backward around the third cone, and now he's coming forward to make that collapsing dive. Comes back to the beginning and repeat. Backward, forward, backward, forward, save. Following that same pattern. Let's keep going, guys. 30 seconds. Good. Good sharp little steps of footwork. Getting to the outside of that final cone, getting set, and then the stay. Brilliant. Excellent. Good. Terrific technique. Well done catching the ball in that triangle shape, making sure we're doing that each time. Good. And using the ground as our third hand, we call that, right? We get one hand behind the ball, one hand on top of the ball, and we're going to corral the ball down into the ground using three surfaces, each of our hands and the ground, to help us control that ball. Okay, two more reps, guys. Two more reps. You're almost there. Brilliant. Last one, guys. You're doing great. And time. Perfect. Very nicely done. So the service has stayed consistent. The footwork has been consistent. This is really good stuff, guys. This is nothing ridiculous, right? We're not reinventing anything. These are just good at-home drills that you can be doing in 10 minutes or so on your own, or you can be uh, doing it with a partner. If you don't have a partner, you could really do all these drills. Just put a ball on the ground, right, and make the dive and save onto that ball each time. Leave the ball there, go back through and do the footwork again, dive on that ball, okay? All right, ready to rock and roll, boys? Same setup, just going the other direction. Ready? Go! Excellent. Good work, good work, good work, good work. Press the beginning. Then with explosion. Yes, good. Really good technique. Good stuff, good stuff. So these 
of these at home, we should be able to get between eight and 10 reps in, okay? Eight and 10 reps during the 40 seconds or so that we're doing the drill, okay? Make sure we're taking that little breather and then going through the speed again, all right? Doesn't help us if we're going through the drill half speed, right? Come to a stop and then do it with explosion. Almost there, guys. We've got two more reps, two more reps. Excellent. Come on, last one, coach, last one. Great service, great technique on the diving here. Brilliant. And time. Catch your breath. Very nicely done. Good. If you need a quick wash out, get some water during these 30 second breaks that we're taking while we're explaining the next drill. Okay. The next piece of this, we're going to go through with one footed hops. Okay. One footed hops on all of these. The same setup with the three cones. Coach Edwin is going to be working to his right. So he's going to be using his right foot to do the one footed hop. So let's just walk through one of them. Right footed hop. Top, top, as he lands on the outside of the cone, he's landing on two feet and immediately going into the explosion, the collapse dive to his left. Okay, so this is like in a game, we've been moving one direction, maybe the shot is taking the deflection, boom, we've got a load on the outside of that right leg and come back toward our left. So explode, 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 set, load, and explode to go the other direction, okay? Ready to rock and roll, guys? Right foot hop, all the way, collapse dive to the left. Do it again, do it again, do it again. All right, let's go. Excellent. Good. These services can be tossed, like we're doing, or you can serve it on the ground with the inside of the foot, or you can roll it with your hand if you wanted to, okay? Good. Eyes up, immediately. Good. Excellent. Making sure that, especially as he gets to that outside of that last cone, his eyes are up on the soccer ball, okay? The most important part of the body we use to save the ball is our eyes. Perfect. These guys are legit goalkeepers, and they're getting a good workout doing this, all right? So I know you at home better be pushing yourself to get the most out of this, guys. I know this is a good workout. That's why I have them doing it, and I'm not doing it. It's tough, really. Come on, two more reps, two more reps. Take a breath, and then let's get through it. Come on, explosive, 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 boom! Yes, very good. Good timing with the service. Make sure the service is done properly. Last rep. Come on, guys. Dig deep. Last rep. And time. Catch your breath. Excellent. A couple deep breaths. Quick wash out if you need it. We're going to repeat the same drill, except we're going to do it on the other side. Okay? The other side, the working partner is going to be set up on the outside of the cones on the right. It's now going to be left-footed, one-footed hops making sure we're landing as we get on the outside of that final cone, little load and explode back to our right hand side. Again, service can be done on the ground or in the air with these. Ready to rock and roll guys? And go! Left foot is hop, 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 set, and then boom, the collapse. Excellent. Good, good, good. Notice as he's landing on that last cone, both feet are getting onto the ground immediately, right? He's not going left foot and then both feet. He's landing immediately on both feet, and he's immediately ready to go into that dive, right? That little diagonal step with the right, and then boom, he's into the dive. Good work, good. Good timing with the service. Great timing with the service here, right? The service has good timing. The drill is going to be done uh, consistently. Well done. Set. Good. Good stuff, guys. Come on. Three more reps. Three more reps. You're doing great. Try not to turn your back to the ball anymore, guys. Boom. A little collapse. Boom. Up to our feet. Facing the ball the entire time. Good stuff. Good stuff. Come on. We've got two more reps, guys. Two more reps. We're almost there. Come on. Push through it, guys. You got it. Keep going. We're almost there. We're almost done. Last one. Last one. Last one. Close. Brilliant. And time. Catch your breath. Very, very nice. Again, get that good washout. Take a quick little break here. The next piece that we're going to go into is high balls. All right, we're going into high balls now. So now, if you don't have a very high ceiling, we might have to modify this a little bit. We're dealing with about a 12 foot ceiling in here, um, which is probably about what most folks have at home. Maybe your basement doesn't have quite as high of a ceiling. So if we need to modify this a little bit, we certainly can. But what's going to end up happening here, we're going to go ahead and do a swallow footwork. So he's going to work backward around the first cone, forward around the second, backward around the third, at which point he's going to find himself at the outside of the three cones there, at which point the server is going to either bounce the ball into the ground, the goalkeeper will then come take the high ball, 
or if we can find a little bit better accuracy with it, just toss that ball straight up into the air about as high as the ceiling will allow you to. The goalkeeper will then bring that knee up and come catch the high ball. On this side, the focus being jumping with the left knee coming up, okay? So Coach Andy will always start on this side, do the swallow footwork, get to the outside of the cones on the right, and then be jumping with that left knee coming up each time, okay? Then we'll repeat the drill on the other side. Are right, we ready to rock and roll, guys? All right, let's do it. Follow the footwork, catching the breath, good, the little bounce, good, and it catches the high ball. Excellent, good. And again, if you can't quite get the bounce, it takes a couple reps to figure out, if you can't quite do it with the bounce, don't be afraid to just toss the ball straight up in the air. Notice where the server is staying out of the way of the working goalkeeper and trying to bounce that ball almost in a straight line. It's a little tough with the timing because it's not a terribly high bounce, but it's good that we're getting that explosion. Catch the breath. Good, and then explode. Excellent. Good. If we can, give a little keeper call each of these times. Little keeper call. We don't have to scream into the top of our lungs. Making sure we're getting a little keeper call. Getting those good habits. Okay? Good habits. Two more reps. Two more reps. Good work. Good timing. Notice how he's not just running forward. He's waiting. Reads the fly of the ball. Boom. And then explodes to it. Excellent. And time. Catch your breath. Excellent. Very, very good. Okay? Really, really good stuff. And if you need to pause the video at any point in time, go ahead and pause the video and run through it again on your own. We need a little more time to do it if the service wasn't good or our timing wasn't good. Okay, we don't want to rush through these things, all right? Moving on, same drill. We're just going to operate from the other side here. Again, server is off to the outside of the cone. We're going to try to bounce that ball straight into the ground so that it goes straight back up for the working goalkeeper. All right, ready to rock and roll? And let's go. Swallow and footwork. Eyes are up, you can fire the ball, good. Jumps off his left foot with that right knee coming up on these ones, okay? Not bad, that's all right, but hit the ceiling once in a while, it's gonna happen, all right? You'll get the timing, you'll get the rhythm, you'll get the, uh, the, the pressure that you need on that bounce, all right? The ball gets away from us once in a while, it's gonna happen, all right? We're gonna try to bounce it in a straight line, straight down, straight up. Keep up. Brilliant. Good stuff. Good, good. Now, good keeper call. Two syllables. Keeper! Keeper! Good work, good work. Let's try to get it in that straight line, straight down, and straight up. We got two more reps, guys. Two more reps. Keeper! Brilliant. Good. Good timing. Hands in that triangle shape, making sure we're getting them just on that bottom half of the ball here, right? So I like to call it creating that Keeper. nest for the ball, okay? And I. Well done, well done. Catch your breath again. If you need to pause the video, run through a couple more reps of those, that's fine. I know it's not the easiest drill to do in a smaller space with a lower ceiling, okay? All right, we're in the last set of exercises here. Now we're going into smothers, okay? Smothers. What is a smother? Smothers when that ball's coming in below our rib cage type area or down low beneath our knees. So anything basically rib cage down to the ground can be uh, considered a smother technique type save. Ball's coming in low, we want to get our body behind it, right? Our chest, our stomach. We want always to have one part of our body other than our hands behind the ball. We don't ever want to be making saves with just our hands outside of our body here, right? Always want to have two parts of our body behind the ball. So whether that's hands and stomach or hands and knee, right? We want to always have two parts behind the ball. So we're taking smothers here. The service is going to be a ball skipped in on the ground or it's going to be a ball rolled on the ground. Let's walk through a couple of them and then you guys can decide at home how you want to serve it, okay? We're gonna go same thing with the slalom footwork, going backwards, forward, backwards. The ball will then be skipped in and then it is the smother. On this side, the goalkeeper is working toward their left. They're set, stepping with the right foot to block that ball. Remember we talked about getting two parts of our body behind the ball. Boom, hands and right leg behind the ball falling onto our forearms and our pelvis and our knees here, okay? All right, let's see it, guys. Really, very good stuff, good work. And if you don't have to dive, don't dive, right? If the ball comes in and it's relatively easily served and you don't have to smother or you don't have to dive, then don't do it, right? Just like you would in the game. Don't dive when you don't have to. Good work, good work, good pickup. 
And again, it's not the easiest service. Notice how he's kind of giving that little sidearm flick of the wrist so that the ball's skipping just in front of uh, the, the working partner. Okay, again, if you have to do it with a roll or an inside of the foot, that's fine too. Good stuff, good stuff. Eyes on that ball. Hands, pinkies close together, elbows in tight to the rib cage. The last thing we want here is to get our body behind the ball, scoop it up, and then boom, we kind of tossed it between our legs here. So make sure we're keeping those elbows in tight, pinkies in tight. Okay, last two reps. Well done. Good technique, guys. Good stuff. Last one. Catch our breath and then explode. Good. Last rep. Last rep. Brilliant. Excellent. Time. Catch your breath. Terrific technique. Well done. Landing on his forearms the whole time. Really, really good stuff. Again, that's another one. If you have to pause it for just a moment to get the service down, get the technique down, totally fine with that. Going to repeat the drill, same setup, except now working to the goalkeeper's right and then using our left foot to step and block behind the ball. And we're going to be falling into that smother technique with our left foot leading the way, okay? Let's get through it, guys. Are we ready to rock and roll? And go. Long footwork. Not bad. That's all right. The service wasn't quite there. That's all right. Good decision to tip it away. Good. Excellent. Excellent. And if we need to roll the ball in, we have no problem with that. Let's get a good, strong roll. Good. Excellent. That'll work. Well done. Using your body to block the ball. Give McKenzie a workout, right? Oh, stay with it. Up, up, up. Good. The ball pops out. Just make sure we're getting up quick for that rebound, right? This is why we practice this, right, guys? These are experienced goalkeepers. Not an easy ball to deal with. Brilliant. Not bad. Not bad. Make sure we're not reaching for that ball. Good stuff. Brilliant. Excellent technique there. We've got three more, guys. Come on. Three more, and then you guys are done. Three more. Three more. Good footwork. Not bad. Make sure we're moving that body laterally. Again, the service plays a big part. Okay? Last one. Let's land on a high note. Let's land on a high note. Terrific. And time. Very nicely done. All right, guys, you've completed your workout. Take between 10 and 12 minutes to, to get it done. What I recommend, let the video end, get yourself a quick water break, take a two, three minute break, and then let's get back to the very beginning, replay the video and run through it again to get the full 24 minute workout, okay? Thanks again for joining us. Hope you guys continue to do so. Hope you're staying healthy, happy, and motivated. Come back and join us soon on the Lufu Goalkeeping Academy YouTube channel. You can check out all of our videos and other content as well at lufusoccer.com forward slash goalkeeping. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you again here soon. Adios.